Good morning. I am sitting outside my um, house that we're in the process of remodeling. So if you notice some uh, weird things behind me or some strange noises, it could be because Chad's here working. But I wanted to mention to you I'm getting ready to go out and, and uh, talk to some people about selling their house and show some houses. And I just wanted to tell you something that I think if your house is up for sale or you're thinking about selling could make a world of difference. So I showed some houses the other day and I had a great time. I love doing that. And um, we were on this front porch and what you may not realize is when, when a real estate agent's at that lockbox, like all technology, sometimes it's super quick and sometimes it takes a little bit of time. So on average I would say it's 45 seconds to a minute. and. So we're standing there on the front porch, and, and, and all we do is stand there waiting on the lockbox to update and spit out the key for us. And this particular porch was just, like, covered. There was bird poop everywhere. Like, I don't know. I, I think maybe they were making a nest, and the nest was gone. I didn't see a nest, but all the bird poop was left. And... You know, I hate to say it, but that clouded the whole visit because as she walked in the, to her front door of that house, bird poop had covered everything in her mind. That's just how she looked at the house. And In fact, after we left, when we were talking about all the different houses we'd saw, she called it the bird poop house. So this weekend, it's beautiful. It's a little bit warmer than it's been. If you've got your house up for sale or maybe you're thinking about selling, go ahead and get out there and stand on your front porch about 45 seconds to a minute and just see what it looks like and, and you know, cobwebs, spiders, all kinds of stuff ends up on your front porch. Give them a good cleaning this weekend. And I would love to talk to you if you are thinking about selling or if you're looking for a house. Thank you.